Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about my quick jacks and how much I use them and what I think about them so far. Uh, not only for using them for my detailing business, but also for regular maintenance on my vehicles. So I bought these quick jack lifts about a little over two years ago and if you watched my unboxing video and putting them together you'll know what I have if you haven't seen it yet I'll put the, the link in the description you can watch that one of the unboxing and putting it together seeing how easy it is but these are the 7000 TLX lifts and I originally bought them with detailing in mind instead of laying on the floor to try to get to the rocker panels and the lower areas on the doors I thought this would be a great uh, piece of equipment to add to my arsenal and make things a little bit easier for myself. And I have used them dozens of times on vehicles. Specifically, you know, I had a, a new ZL1 Camaro come in, I had some C8 Corvettes come in, um, some newer Mustangs, where you really need to get down to, uh, to the floor to get to the lower panels on the, on the vehicle. And just raising them up was so much easier. Even on some older classic vehicles that I had um, for us to get to uh, detail on the bottom part. So that made life a lot easier. And also general maintenance on my own vehicle. So for instance, today I have my wife's uh, Highlander in, which I'm gonna do an oil change, and it's due for tire rotation as well. So I figured why not break out the quick jacks and give them the shot on this car. I've used them before in this car. I've used them basically on all my vehicles before. My setup for the quick jacks is pretty simple. I just have a rolling cart here where I have the pump it's hooked up to an extension cord there and then I also have all of my lifting blocks the uh, the blocks on this side of the cart right here those four blocks and also the four that I have over on the the quick jacks ready to go they came with the kit uh, the other ones are for the trucks so I bought those separate that was really the only thing I bought separate besides for what came with the kit. And as I mentioned in my unboxing video, I put these small little uh, roller wheels on the bottom, which make it really easy to slide back and forth underneath the car. So that made life a little bit easier. And that's really all that I've done. Now I did have to replace one of the quick disconnects on the line going into the pump uh, a few months ago. And the more research I did, basically because I wasn't using them enough. Uh, you know, you wanna to try to use them at least a month to keep the fluids flowing through so the seals don't dry out. And there was in a certain amount of time where I didn't have to break them out to work on a car. So they kind of sat for a while. And then the day that I finally decided, oh, I need to use these, I brought them out and I had a leak. So I just had to order a new part. I think it was $35 for a new, uh, new connect. Probably could have went to Lowe's or Home Depot and found one also, but I just ordered it online. It just, it was easier and quicker for me. Just. I don't have time to get out of here to, uh, to run to the store. That was right in the middle of my busy season. But I haven't had any issues otherwise. I mean, these things are pretty basic and pretty simple to use. So I'm gonna get these under the car. I have them pretty much ready to go. I have the pinch weld pucks on the quick jacks ready to go. So basically it's just line them up, raise the car. Nice thing is the cord for the remote is pretty long, so you could actually work your way over while you're raising the car up and make sure you have everything lined up okay. I'm just about there. I just need to uh, maybe slide them back and forth. So that's what I'm gonna do now, just check them out. All right, so the pinch weld pucks are set up. I have them ready to go. This literally took five minutes to, to totally set up. I mean. You could jack up one side, jack up the other side, put your jack stands under, move to the other side. I don't know, same amount of time. But here we go, just gonna lift it up. <clears throat> so there's two different settings on the jacks. We're at the first one right now, so that would be your height. We have the wheels off the ground, maybe two or three inches. So, you know, we can get to things, we can still pull the wheels off. I'm going to go up all the way to the second setting. The 
You'll know you're on the second setting when you hear the click, which means that the, uh, the outer brace has moved over the retainer, and then you'll lower it back down to lock it in place. There we go, we're on the second setting. I'll lower it down. We are now locked into that position, and we're free to work. Now, this is the perfect height on a vehicle here to do tire rotation if you're doing brake work, uh, or when I do get the detailing. If this was getting buffed out, I can get to that lower rocker and basically just sit in my chair and have that directly in front of me instead of laying on the ground. My view of this was I'm not getting any younger, and for me to be laying on the ground is not a fun thing, so this will help save my back. We get to oil change and tire rotation on this car, and then we'll bring it down. tire rotation. Of course my battery would die. Check out this dinosaur. It didn't get used much anymore, but it's been abused. Oil change, tire rotation is done. Now we're gonna let this down and I'll torque the, uh, the lug nuts. But to get the quick jacks down, I'm just gonna have to raise the lift up just a little bit so this will come back over the, uh, that little lip that's in there, the lock. And then I could just flip this and it'll come all the way down. I'll just have it focused on the lift right now so you could see that, uh, that process. So we'll lift it up. And now we're able to unlock that so it can slide down the rail. So we're back down and this is where those little caster wheels on the bottom come into play because I could very easily slide it out, quick disconnect, line up the tab. Put the cap back on and roll it out of the way. So all said and done, putting this up on the lift, 
oil change, tire rotation, I'm probably 20 minutes in. I mean, it didn't really take that much longer than actually using a floor jack with jack stands and moving around. I'd have to jack up one side, go around, jack up the other side. So equal, maybe a little less time with the quick jacks. I don't know, once you get used to uh, setting them up, bring them out, quick disconnects, it's really simple. Now, being that I have a longer wheelbase on this four-seater, I'm able to fit the jacks right underneath the frame rail. And that's how I lifted it up the first time. I just didn't have uh, these adapters for the trucks. I just used the pucks the first time I lifted it up. I think this is gonna be a little bit easier. Again, super easy to connect, pull the dust covers off, uh, quick disconnect, just give it a twist so it locks into place and you're set. second setting. The first setting didn't really pick the tires up too high off the ground, but uh, this is perfect. Pull the wheels. If I need to rotate them, check the brakes out, work on anything underneath, there's plenty of room to get under there. So there it is. Again, bring it back down, raise it up a little bit, knock these off the, uh, the stopper. I do notice when these don't have any weight on them, they're very, very slow to come down. Uh, so that's why I'll just apply a little pressure with my foot and bring it down. But it does take a little bit of time. Again, nothing crazy, but uh, it definitely helps to uh, speed up the process of bringing the lifts all the way down. Actually, the driver's side went down by itself, so I didn't have to do anything to that one. This one's just about down all the way. Now the other option that you do have for maybe a shorter wheelbase uh, machine, maybe a two door, is to put the quick jacks across from one side to the other. As long as you have them parallel with each other, according to quick jacks videos and their website, you should be able to lift that. So I'm gonna try it out on this one. Uh, you just have to remember there's movement as it comes up. It's not lifting straight up. It's kind of coming up on an angle as you go. So just make sure that the quick jacks are in a parallel position with one another. They're lined up 
and you shouldn't have any issues. Let's give it a shot. I think what I'll do is disconnect them and then put the, the pump on that side so that way they're going up this way. Make sure you have them both the same way. I mean, well, you wouldn't be able to hook it up anyway because uh, you'd have one line coming out this way and one line coming out that way. So both lines are going out that way. I'll just move the pump and everything over to that side. Connect them up and we should be good once I get everything lined up here. Stop it just before it's hitting the frame rail and get these into their final position. Go right there. So there's so much movement and as they, as they come up, so as they're moving up, they're also moving that direction. So I would put the block almost at the edge of this and by the time it got up to the frame rail, it was already basically there. And then on the other side, so they're pretty far underneath and you can see I just had them stacked. Um, by the time they moved out to the frame rail, there was so much movement still needed that they were kind of slipping and coming off. So I don't know if it's a combination of the weight, there's not enough weight here, and the amount of movement from left to right, it just wasn't letting this lift it up. All right guys, so with a lot of trial and a lot of error, I was not able to lift uh, my side-by-side -side up with the quick jacks horizontally across the frame and I don't know I, I tried different blocks I tried the truck adapters and I, there's just so much movement side to side that once it does get up to the frame rail it's still moving and there's just not enough weight for it to hold it and the the blocks or the truck adapters were starting to shift 
The one time it actually slid off of the lift and uh, it just doesn't seem safe to me. I mean, I'm okay with putting them vertically, but I was trying that out for other guys. And I, I think one of the reasons might be is that I have the extended length uh, quick jacks, the 7,000 TLX. And I think if it was a shorter uh, version, I don't know, 3,500, 5,000 LX or TX, whatever it is called. But um, I was looking at those and they're, they're a lot, they're made for shorter wheelbase vehicles. I think that might've worked a little bit better. By the time it raises up high enough to get to the frame rail on this, on this specific one, I mean, I, I know there's a lot of other UTVs and stuff that are lower to the ground, but by the time it gets up to the frame rail, it's already almost at the first lock. And then once it starts to move, it's still, it's still shifting and it just, it's just not working. So uh, I tried for you guys. I know I had a lot of people asking if they're able to. If you have a four seater and you have the quick jacks, you could definitely put them vertically, but the whole horizontal thing just isn't working and it, it may work for other people, but on this specific setup with my general and the 7,000 TLX, I just can't figure it out. I've, I've been trying for the last hour and uh, looking online, see if anybody else had any, any uh, luck trying to lift or if there was another YouTube video or any other video or comments out there on one of the forums if anyone was using the quick jacks to lift these, but uh, I just couldn't find anything. So I'll do a little more digging. If you have experience with this, put a comment down below, let me know what you think or if I should try some other kind of setup. Put down a comment below and let me know if you had any luck with your quick jacks or even other ways that you use, uh, what else, what other kind of lifts you use for your UTVs. I mean, I'm good with this one because it can lift mine, it lifts my vehicles, but for those other viewers that are out there that were asking, maybe you could help us out and put a link to what you're using down below so that they could uh, move along and grab something. So that's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna get the rest of the shop cleaned up, get the quick jacks put away, and uh, we'll be moving on to some more detailing. Spring's coming, weather's getting nice, and I'm hoping to be putting out a lot of videos of some really cool cars that we have coming in this year. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.